Hello everybody and welcome back to the darkest dungeon. We are here again within the cursed estate and of course last time things didn't go so well. Unfortunately we lost a hero. We did bring her back in uh, the form of a lower level character so we'll work out how that works in the diaries. The character, the guy that made this is called Meme Police so he can sort of work out how that works. I just feel bad about killing a character instantly. I feel like it's something I can't really do. Anyways, yeah. Pretty bad. Definitely has shown us that these le these level 3 missions can be a bit rough. Um, I'm going to take out this group here um, on a veteran level uh, level 3 long mission. So we've definitely got some risk associated. Um, and we, we do only have a Battlefield Bandage as our heal. But with such a, a buff to the healing ability of it, I'm hoping it should be enough. Um, it's a little risky. If we need to abandon the mission this time, I will make sure to do that a little earlier than we did last time. Um, as soon as people start having heart attacks, I'll get the hell out of there. Um, and we'll see what we can do. It just is what it is. And we are bringing out Eileen for the first time in quite some time. Um, she has been a rather, um, rather disliked figure ever since the, um, ever since the, the, the show happened. With the, the fight here with the ringmaster. Things didn't go so hot and uh, she's really not been in the greatest of lights. But we're going to bring her out again. And hopefully she can at least redeem herself somewhat among this group. In terms of what we've prepared for this group here. We have the double damage bonus on Eileen. Got that extra crit chance, extra damage. Mainly going to be using the last laugh. We also have Neil and uh, take a bow and fan favorite to do some buffing. Which is kind of potentially interesting. Um, as well as some, some light stress relief. And what we'll do is, if stress becomes too big of an issue, we'll swap these two around and we'll um, put on this here so we can do some stress healing. Uh, that's my current plan, at least. Um, then we have um, Celia here, who is going with the extra bleed amount, as well as the extra bleed chance, as well as all the resistances. Uh, I think that should be pretty decent. Um, we've got some good stuff here across the board. Uh, then also we've got an Anton who we haven't brought out in quite some time. He's taking the Salamander because he's fire based. I feel like it's very, very fitting. Um, and he's also got the Cicada Shell. For that Prot plus the healing received, I think that should be quite good with his low HP. And then Rose has the double healing, of course. Mainly just going to be using the Battlefield Bandage. By the way, something I've realised. Um, so she has four speed as of base, but she also has Hasty plus three on the first round. And Quick Draw. Plus four on the first round. And quick witted at plus uh, two if she's in position two. Uh, and also sharpshooter trend. She's got some really good stuff in terms of speed. It's kind of interesting. Either way, we're going to see how these guys push on. I'm sure this will be tricky. I'm sure we're going to have some harder times now that we're getting into these later level missions. But we will try our darndest. I'm definitely going to bring more food this time. In fact, I'm going to bring... I'm going to bring 34 food. Which seems excessive, but still... Um, and we're going to be bringing five shovels. Yeah, five shovels. We'll bring five. I'm sure this is going to be a bit over the top in terms of the amount of stuff that I end up bringing here. But it is what it is. We don't really need many torches. We'll bring eight as a backup, but we don't really need them. Um, and we do have a nighttime ambush prevention already locked in. So let's embark on this quest and see what we can get done. A little bit scary, but I'm hopeful that it'll go a bit better than last time. Anyways, we're going to get into our diary entries. We do have a few from last week that I missed, so apologies for that. First one is from Rockerin uh, for Koshkin the Hunter. The masked man sits at the training grounds, exasperated and seems bored. One of the trainers approaches him. You all right there, sir? You seem concerned. He lets out a sigh and removes his mask. Though not any horrid visage, just a plain man, with a full moustache and a thick accent. Just wondering when I'll see some action again. I know I demand high price for my work, but these padfoots are hardly worth the effort. I hear you are tracking a wolf. He looks up at him. Yes, a wolf. Not wanting to spread rumours of a bandit lord, sworn to revenge after all. The air paid well for silence. Perhaps the beast will poke its nose out eventually, Trader says, shrugging as he walks away. Yeah, every beast hungers for blood, and eventually it overwhelms them. Very interesting. We also have another one here from last week, and this is for our um, do list. This is entry one from Dr. Savage Junkie. What a most wonderful first outing. Darkness, danger, horrific fungal monstrosities. Oh, what fun. 
the old man was right. This is exactly the place for men like me. I've also begun hatching a little idea. These little expeditions are quite profitable. Not so much fun, um, not so much fun, um, I'll, not so much fun us. I think that's a mistype there. Um, but for the air and their little township here. No, not, not so much for us, but for the air. I see. I've, I've read that wrong. Let me start again. I've begun hatching a little idea. These little expeditions are quite profitable. Not so much for us, but for the air and their little uh, township here. I'm thinking I'll play along while I let it build some. In the meantime, I'll make friends with a few of uh, the similar mindsets. When the coffers are full enough, we'll swipe it right from under them. I already know who to ask. Fellow with the saw and the woman with the secret who joined me. I have the privilege of spare, uh, sparring with the former, and he wields his weapon with skill and elegance, despite how big and clumsy it is. As for the woman, simple blackmail. Apparently none have seen her true form before now. Many are not aware of what she is. If my promise of endless riches does not entice her, I'm not above churning the gossip mill a little. There'll be a promised wealth beyond their wildest dreams, and when we're finally in the clear, I'll thank them for the hard work with the tip of my sword. Woohoo! I like the sounds of that. That's kind of interesting. But let's push forward here. This is exploring 90% of the room, so we'll see what we can get done. I, I think we should do reasonably well here. We've got a lot of damage on our side. I mean, Eileen can put out some really high DPS. Um, but we'll just see what we can do. We'll, all, of course, try and get some sharpshooting on the back there. That is one thing we do have an issue with. Backline damage isn't amazing right now. Um, I'm going to take a kneel there. Pulls you forward, stops you from doing too much stress on us. We'll even, even try, try and get a kill, thank you, Anton. We've also got a lot of bleed on this group, by the way. So we've got bleed here, we've got bleed here, and we've got bleed here. That's kind of why I paired these guys together. I thought that'd be quite intriguing. Um, let's activate our repost here. And yeah, of course, we do have the motivational here, which will help out a lot. Slice back, and we actually transformed as well there. And once again, slice back. Great repose damage across the board there. And we should be able to get some quick, quick kills here. Confidence there we go. Rose getting a few hits crumbles. in. Now, I do believe Rose takes some issue with Eileen. So these two probably want to stay far away from one another. Decimated. But we'll see. We'll see. Now, our backpacks are going to get extremely full here. So there's not going to be much room for... Uh, Swapping stuff out and stuff, we're just going to have to see how it goes. I mean, literally, we're already full. Um, and we have to remember that we're going to be producing trinkets as Eileen when we camp as well. So there's definitely going to be some times where we want to maybe leave stuff uh, behind. And I think that maybe on this mission, money isn't going to be as important. Uh, we'll, we'll get what we can, but we don't need a lot. Malformed with misintent. Um... Crack on Earth and see what we get. See, already we've we've come across an issue here. But yeah, not gonna take it too seriously with, with money, but it is what it is. Light, I'm not gonna worry about too much because we do have ants on here. First food check, I'm glad I bought the extra food this time around. So I'm not going to go for this room because it requires a shovel. Actually, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. No, it's fine. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Don't, 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 don't listen to me. I was, I was planning something and it's, now it's gone. I am getting a little bit of lag in this run. I, I still, the AMD updates are causing some issues. I hope it's not a big thing. Uh, we'll just have to sort of play it by ear and see. Uh, but we do have another battle here. Relatively simple. We don't have any uh, too hard of enemies yet. We'll go for the fire attacks in the back line there. In radiance, may we find we'll try and take out one of those enemies. Little bit of blight coming our way. Not particularly bad. We get accuracy buff across the board here. Um, we'll go with Neil again. We'll pull you forward. Guard broken is kind of nice, but not necessary. These guys do have prot, so bleed is going to be important against these guys. Fortunately, we didn't actually land the bleed there. Nice dodges across the board here, though. Fortunately, Reign of Blight once again is going to blight these guys in a real bad way. I'll clean that off of him in a second. There's some huge damage there from Eileen. So we'll get our first heal out here. 
And I definitely want to um, get rid of that. We'll try and get some bleed on you. There you go, there's some nice. Swipe coming in again. We'll just get ready to heal up when we need to. We are in beast form now, so we've got a few different things we can do. We can headbutt, um, which will be a stun. We can also do the Savage Feast, which is going to move us forward. Um, going to do extra against bleeding um, and extra against corpses. It's also going to heal us for the damage done, but we have a chance to catch Rabies. I'm going to go for that mainly for the corpse removal. Uh, I think that's valuable. But also the healing's nice. It's nice to have a character that can heal himself. Can you stop with that, please? The Blight's getting a bit ridiculous. Okay, but we'll uh, clean that off as well. Heal you up. Lovely. Then we'll go with this. Because that's going to bleed you both. Nice amount on both of you. In fact, frontline guy is dead. So we'll go for the back line and get some more bleed on you. Rain of Light once again. At least you resisted this time. And we can actually buff up you rather nice. Slowly, gently. This is how a life is good. Taken. We got the repurst here as well, so that's be good bleed damage there. There you go. And you're on 25, you're on 31, so we'll heal you up first, especially because then you've got more blight on you. A There's a kill. Bubbling. And everyone gets the stress heal for that too. Get rid of that blight. I know we've got rid of all of that now, but there you go. Good fight. Good fight. I like it. Seize this momentum. Push on to the task's end. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of stuff that we end up leaving behind here. It just, it is what it is. Uh, we don't want to use a shovel on that. I think our shovels are potentially more valuable elsewhere um, at this moment in time. Probably should have brought a few more to torches with me, but... As we just saw here, we're getting a few along the way. It's not terrible. Here as well. Backpack could be nice. I'm hoping for a map, but sadly, we did not get it. First semi-difficult enemy here, but we do have some AoE, so we should be able to hit him. Although he did just scamper behind. We'll go with the suppressing rain, because that's going to hit him, even though he's stealth. We'll go for this, which will be an insta-kill, I think. Ah, oh, if it bled, it would have been, but sadly not. Hmm. Suffer six damage. That's quite a lot of damage to suffer, but it will get us two kills. Actually, that was way more than six. Why, why was that double? I'm not entirely sure what happened there, I'll be honest. We definitely want to get some healing in before we do anything though. I'm not exactly sure what happened there. I need to read into his skill a little more because I'm sure there's a reason he took double damage there. I'm going to try and stall us out a little bit here. That actually does a lot more damage than I thought. Stall us out a little bit. You can um, do that. The blood quickens. You can get to get hit on her, but that's fine. Lash out is not terrible for us. Bad positioning across the group here, but there you go. I'm happy that I stalled. Okay, we're all good. That worked out. That worked out. Yeah, what, what, let's have a look at that. Um, so for six damage... Um, Oh, uh, minus damage per corpse. It still says it still only says suffer six damage though, so I'm not exactly sure why I suffered double there. We have to be careful with that skill going forward, I guess. Not something I can use willy nilly. Gonna have to be sort of a more of a finisher than anything. Uh, I actually think we don't need to go to the. Nah, let's let's do the rooms. I was gonna say we need to go to them. Let's just let's just. But yeah, we're waiting for sort of the bigger enemies to show their face because there is quite a few potential. Nasty fellas lurking around here that we could uh, come across. We've got our secret room already, which is rather nice. Um, I'm going to have to come back to that. I know I said I'd come back to it last time and I didn't, so it's not exactly a guarantee. Extra food there's lovely. But I'm saying it now at least, and we'll see if that happens. 
I'm see I'm thinking with this group thus far, based on how things are going, we should be a lot more okay. Like, we're, we're clearly keeping our stress levels in check. We're dealing very good damage. The only thing that's lacking, really, is potentially our healing. Um, but even then, the fact that Celia has her own way to heal in werewolf form means that we don't need to worry about her anywhere near as much as we do the other heroes. So it's not as bad. Surprise, he is nice. Heal ourselves up. Lovely. Gonna go for the back line there. Unfortunate miss. As the light gains purchase, spirits nice. are lifted, and purpose is made clear. Can't do kneel unless I'm in position one. Didn't need it. Did an incredibly big hit there. Nice, he didn't decay into a corpse or a parasite. That helps. That certainly helps. Shriek coming in for a bit of stress. Not an awful lot. Call to the wild. A wheel. Slightly annoying with that extra prop. A little bit of healing for you. It's only a minor amount, but it's worth it, I think. The lunge coming in with the blight. Blight and bleed. Okay, luckily he can cure those off himself. Oh no, I don't have that skill available, unfortunately. Um, let's bandage up at least that, and then we can throw a Molotov at you. Not ideal, but maybe I, maybe I want to be enabling that skill, actually. Double crit, very nice. Sadly, not quite a kill. I don't know why, but that isn't bleeding very often. It must have a very low bleed chance. I did... Un unless it just... Oh, it only bleeds in beast form. I see. I see. Beautiful. Let's heal. Almost got him yet again, but not quite. He's gonna molt as well. God damn it. That puts us in beast form, nice. I'm very glad we dodged that. Take care of. We did leave a parasite, unfortunately. That spells trouble for us. Gonna heal there. Got the kill this time. Thank you, Anton. That does a lot of damage, my guy. That does a lot of damage. There's that bleed. I'm gonna try and stall out to get another heal here, which is risky. Yeah, that only did four damage. Why did that do 13 last time? Bit of stress heal there. Not a great heal, but it's enough, I think. Ah, no, we can't attack. This could be bad. Oh, no, no, he didn't get another turn. Good. We're fine. A little worried there, but we're fine. Ghoulish horrors. We'll leave that. Brought low and driven into the mud. We're all back to repositioned now. We'll leave that as well. Let's see what we got here. Another pretty easy fight here. Some some prot is going to be annoying. We have a lot of bleed, so it's not terrible. Let's activate our repose first off. Try and get into beast mode early. Good. We'll go with the poker and get the bleed started up, I think. The light, the promise of safety. Sadly, he resisted that bleed. But here we go. We get the uh, repose there. Immediately puts us into beast mode. We did get tinnitus, though, which I think is extra stress. There's that bleed, though. Lovely. I'm liking Celia taking all the hits here. Especially when, like I said, she can heal herself. Momentary Especially when there's a body up there as well. Right, you're dead now, good. Nice heal. Mob light and crits as well. We are getting crit a lot right now. Like a lot and a lot. Dead meats on us. 
be a fan favourite again. I think I might want to trade out one of my skills for the stress relief soon, because we're getting a little bit stressed. Die to bleed. Don't give us a corpse boy again. Thank you. Lovely. Lovely, lovely. A trifling victory. But a victory nonetheless. Okay, uh, let's quickly just go over here and we will take off Taker Bow and put on Barry and Leon. And we'll shuffle ourselves again. I think we just need a little bit of stress relief. Potentially, we don't want to obviously sacrifice too much damage to stress relief. But we are getting to the realms of it being a little bit rough. Particularly happy with the damage we've taken here. I'm going to eat a little bit of food here. Just to get ourselves back to a slightly more safe level. And slightly annoying here. 30 and 24 will definitely heal you then. It's going to be annoying having both of these guys thingied at the front. Ow. Don't kick me in the nuts. Ah, the dodges with the goddamn we is Very annoying. Okay, we'll at least get our purse going. We require only the strength to follow it. This is going to be annoying with the calls to the wield. They're going to do a few of those. Right. Do some stress relief. Can't hit anything right now. These guys have been stealth. It's kind of a pain, actually. The blight. Our blight resist on this guy is, is absolutely awful because of this trinket, unfortunately. Rick, we've got, like, generally quite low health across the board with these guys, which is unfortunate. We'll get our red hot perker going. Yeah. No beast form yet. I'd rather take out you to stop you didn't call the wield out or spawning more of yourselves. And of course you spawned more of yourselves and you stunned me as well. The person that can do the stress relief, you stunned. Great. Annoying. These enemies are everywhere, and they're so frustrating. But I kind of love them. I think they're, I think they're good additions to the game. Dude. We are struggling for uh, health here because of the blight. Yeah, look at this. The calls of the wheel is just getting crazy. You can't be missing, Anton. It's very frustrating. Also, we need beast mode. There we go. Awesome, we got it. Done. That's not ideal. Health across the board is not looking good here. Especially not for Anton. I forgot to switch his skills again. Fuck's sake. Dude, Anton, what is with your accuracy at the moment? There's a heal there. Good kill. Dude, so many fucking cicadas. Impressive. My goodness. I need to check what his accuracy is like, because he must have a, a something that's giving him a negative to accuracy. He must do. Five damage? Fucking hell, he's going to go on 10 HP here. The thing is, I can't even stall with these guys either, because they're just going to spawn more of themselves due to that accuracy at the moment. So, ferocious. Great is the weapon oh, this guy could still just spawn another one. You're dead now, at least. Right, let's quickly just change some things over. That's good. Unforgiving. Do I care about these? I'll take the crest over the citrine. Right, first of all, do you have an accuracy down? No, you don't. You're just getting really unlucky. 
So I think we want to be taking off Incinerate and putting on... Oh, we don't even have it unlocked. Bollocks. Cleansing fire. Um, cl clear blight and bleed. We don't even have it unlocked. Okay, that's unfortunate. That's really unfortunate. I thought we had it unlocked. Yeah, because basically this trinket is good because he's got the prot and stuff, but the blight and bleed are just piercing through that blight, that, that prot so easily, causing some trouble. Stress coming in here. Ooh, that's not great. Actually, no, that's, that's, that's pretty much fine. That's pretty much fine. It's not ideal. 20 and 17. We'll heal you first, then. The stress levels are obviously going up and up and up. Repost is first. That activates beast mode more re readily. There you go. Beast mode is enabled. Anton is, is actually not. fucking useless. I, I, I've got to. I've got to be real. Anton, you are actually kind of the worst. Just constantly missing. Stress levels here are through the roof now. A momentary abatement. Anton, what the actual hell? Why are you here? Why did we even bring you? You are. You just get blighted all the time. You're, you're kind of worthless, my guy. Ah, uh, we changed back to human, unfortunately. Ah, <sighs> you're kind of worthless, my guy. Like, you, if you miss this often, we might as well just have left you at home. Like, you, you've... I'd say, like, 80% of the things you've done so far, you've missed. Not on, my guy. It's not on. If you miss again, I'm going to be really frustrated. What the hell's going on with his accuracy? What's what's the Molotov's chance? Oh, we've got Creep and Cough as well here. I hate when it does this. I want to right-click here. There you go. Creep and Cough minus 20% damage. That's not actually too bad. Who else was it we got a disease on? Ah, that's fine. Okay, um... It's got an accuracy base of 95 what the hell is going on? I mean, these enemies have high dodge. I realize that. But come on now. It's getting ridiculous. It's getting ridiculous. Guys in the back line are really struggling for HP as well. Nice. It's annoying that we haven't been able to kill this... this woman yet, because she's going to get another stress off. No repairs to follow it up either, annoyingly. Oh my god, Anton, you are literally the most useless person we've ever brought on a mission. What, what was the actual point in bringing you? You are so unfathomably useless. I, I, I brought you in good faith because you hadn't been out in a while. Now I see why. You are absolutely and completely incompetent. I want to use my uh, my feast thing, but we don't. We're not in beast mode. And purpose. Whoa, Anson! Holy shit! Did you actually hit, did you just hit something? It's crazy. I really want to use my, my eat mode, but... Duh, oh, rain of blight. Dude, these guys are way too blighted already. The wounds of war can be healed, but never hidden. Oh my... This is actually unfathomable, how, how absolutely awful his accuracy is.
We have to go back and camp, aren't we? You can't even hit the right enemy. Oh, but, but you hit the you hit the body. Well done. The blight has been like an insane plague on us here. The ground quakes. Right. So Back to this room we go real quick. Or is it merely a trick of the light? Circle in the dark. The battle may yet be won. Right. Prevent nighttime ambush. Reduce ringmaster trinket. So we've got four remaining that we can use. Honestly, yeah, just do that. It doesn't heal us though, sadly. And then we can do reduce our ringmaster trinket. Not a particularly amazing one, I'll be honest, but it is what it is. Attempt to craft a cleansing elixir. Remove stuns from your party. Take it over the torches. Ah. <sighs> right, we go again. Kind of reset now. It's been frustrating. Been frustrating. Um, get rid of the busts. We'll take the money. We no longer have torches, so torchlight is going to be problematic. Oh, fuck that. We have this thing here, the graveyard. There's no way I'm touching that. Gives us some torchlight at least. Oh my god, the stress. I didn't even read a, a diary entry there. I'll get to that after this battle. Calls the wield again. It's always a problem. Especially when they do it back to back like that. Kill. Get that repurse going. I like her being marked with repurse because the enemies that hit her, it's better for us because she can heal so easily and she has a high HP pool. She's the, the preferred one to take damage. Like now she can heal up that damage she just took pretty easily. And that'll be like, yeah, not a lot of healing there. We didn't, I think you get a lot more heal from bodies. A dizzying blow to body and brain. Yes, bleed him even more. Not quite dead, sadly. Big damage on us, though. I was going to say that's two bodies to eat, though, but one of them just decayed, sadly. Good, that's a bleed on there as well. Get that buff going. And then we'll feast. Huge heal off of bodies, yeah. And stress heal across the board as well. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, we're not doing that, uh, that graveyard thing. Because that's a mini boss of the Banshee that is... Not easy, and we are not prepared. We need a group specifically for going after the Banshee, if anything, really. Oh my god, a big heal there. Of course he's blighted again. I'm never adding that trinket on again that adds the... Removes blight resist, because god damn, it's been tragic. Ooh, he did some good damage there, though. He did some good damage. In fact, we got a kill there already, and we got beast form straight away. Awesome. Do you know what? I'm going to buff him up again. Seems very, very powerful. Honestly, Celia, I think I underrate. She's a lot better than I give her credit for. No body left behind, sadly. I was hoping for that. Unfortunately, I have two enemies here that can generate new enemies. So, it's going to be slightly annoying. Laughter. That heal there. Probably go for a headbutt on this guy. Dodge. 
dodge. Have you, have you, like, been blighted this entire time? Like, every single time I look at you, you're blighted. Good headbutt. Moves us back a little bit. Good kill on you. Love that. Literally, Anton's the only person we heal. He's so, he's so worthless. He barely hits anything. And all he goddamn does is sit there and blight Oh, pain in the ass. Nice. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. Kind of an interesting idea, but not necessary for us right now. Scouting's pretty lovely here. Don't know who's going to be the trap disarmer. Anton. Yes, baby, you've done something right for once. There was a reason to bring you. At least you're giving us torchlight. That's, that's something I can say, at least. You're giving us torchlight. Okay, we've got our first tree bench smackdown, boy. Would be kind of difficult, I think, but we should be able to take him out fairly easily. I'm hopeful of. I just hope he doesn't hit our boy Anton here because he's low already. Stress is insane right now, sadly. Anton's the only one getting healed yet again. We're going to do Neil. Um, I should have, probably should have pulled you forward, actually, but oh well. I'm going to go for the damage here. I don't think you can do Tree Bunch Smackdown on his first attack. Confusion there. Not terrible, but not ideal to put Celia in the back. Good, good, keep that bleed going. Good dodge on that. Ho, ho, ho. 44 crit and 11 bleed. Poison spores. Oh my god, you didn't you didn't target Anton with that? That's kind of crazy. Um move forward one. Kind of crazy that Anton didn't get a uh, spawned. You're almost dead. Good dodge on that. Yeah, you're dead now. Taunt going. You're dead as well. Awesome. That was really good, Anton. You've done something. Champion falls. I was hoping we could feast here, but maybe not. Those enemies died to bleed as well, so no body. Finally getting some hits on you. You should die pretty quick here, though. All three of us wailing on you at once. 26. Yeah. There you go. Lovely. A nice swift kill. As victories mount, so too will resistance. Hey, Anton, my god, you're, you're proving yourself worthy now, aren't you? Gonna be low on torch, I was gonna say low on torch for whatever battle we come across here. It's a bit scary. I'm gonna actually use this now that everyone's relatively healed up to lower that accurate. Accu <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> One sec. I'm dying. <coughs> Accuracy is what I'm trying to say. Don't know what happened there. We'll do some stress relief this battle as well, I think. The damage. Hit. Another dead meat coming out. Leprosy. We got a lot of diseases this time around. We need to go on a disease run where we have someone that can cure diseases easily. Why did that kick me in the nuts? Oh, dude. I was like, well, I'm just going to do some stress relief. And it's like, nah, 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 nah. You're going to take on way more stress than you ever thought possible. Compassion. 
passion is a rarity in the fever pitch of battle. Good. Oh, the care once again. I didn't get to that dire entry I was going to read either. My bad. There's beast mode enabled. 11 stress reduction in a round is really good. Gotta make sure we're keeping up with everything. Should have gone for this cicada. He can spawn a new one if I'm not careful. Which he'll do right now. My bad. God damn it. Nineteen heal there, lovely. Dude, I'm just trying to stress relief. Leave me alone. Dude, the stress, please, just leave it be. <laughs> Fuck's sake, I keep trying and it keeps shitting me back down. Oh, that missed as well, Anton, come on. You were doing so well. You were proving yourself as something worthwhile. Now look at you. How are you, okay, I guess how are you not dead, but you passed your turn apparently, I don't know what that's about. These guys are gonna spawn another one now, aren't they? Molt's annoying, but not terrible. Nice. Beast gives us a full heal there. That's a good kill. I like to see that. Takes care of the body. 28. God, you can heal for so goddamn much. Go for an extra stress heal here if we can get it. 58, 53, go for it on you. And please don't. Okay, you molt it, that's fine. I'm happy for you to molt. What? There's reinforcements of normal kind? God damn it, I wasn't expecting that. Oh look, Anton's again blighted. What a surprise. <laughs> You're dead, good. We do have a, a D stealth on Anton. Get the repurse going at least. Didn't crit me this time, I like that. Nice bleed on there as well. 44, 47, 44. Despite all what happened, we managed to get ourselves down to a decent level of stress for all that. Right, um, but holy water, we'll take the money. Uh, let's go into a diary entry here. So our next one here is by Penn Simmons, and this is from Bagman. He stumbles into the room, throwing a bag on his head. Dark matted hair falls around his face. He rips off the blood-stained shirt, revealing hundreds of scars, four of which are branded numbers. One, six, four, eight. Crossed through with another scar. He stumbles to the mirror, screaming, Who are you? and pointing at the reflected face. He hears distant memories. Prisoner, one, six, four, eight. One, six, four, eight. Solitary for you. My name is... No, your name is one, six, four, eight. That's all you are. He paces in front of the mirror, hands are gripping his hair in anguish. You put these dreams in my head. Can't do that. Distance voice echoes in his head. Sir, it is against the full military force that um, they call public servants. Should have brought that good bat. Tell me this isn't a dead end, so I can tell myself it's a good plan. A second voice brings the ache of an unchecked grief, though he didn't recognise it. His scars begin to ache. Get me out, Mel. They're going to... Screams. Fire and screams. He feels the heat. He remembers chains, the brand, the numbers, the bag, the rope, the despair. He collapses on the floor, small, gripping his hair in clenched fists. Who am I? Her. Imagine us. Small cabin back home. Free at last. Him. Big dreams, hun. Big dreams. Really, really like that. And we'll get into the other ones as we move forward. Loving the, the progression of Bagman. He's a very, very interesting soul. Glittering 
very, very interesting indeed. Right, this should be mission complete, I think. No, it's not. i got to do one more. Really? There's another battle here. Blanket fire won't matter once we've got repursed in, in effect. It's D stealth for you. Coral smash. It's fine. Moves us back a little bit. Blanket fire again. A momentary abatement. Definitely get repursed going with his blanket fires. Being shot off. Shank is gonna hurt here. Ooh, nice dodge though. Ah, oh, unfortunate miss. First one, Eileen. I'll give you that. There you go. Beautiful. And once again, Smackdown. Well, Anton. Twenty-four, twenty-five. Okay, can take the heal. Beautiful kill on you. Shank is still going to hurt the. Repurse, but a miss. We did get the transformation, so I'm happy about that at least. Blanket fire once again for a kill. And power. We'll try and go for a feed here. Nice crit. Another shank coming in. Ah, the repurse got the kill. I was kind of hoping it wouldn't so I could feed, but it is what it is. Right, back we go. We've got one more room to do and killer. a secret room to go ahead. I do wish in this scenario here I could just fast travel, but the game is as it is. Got to deal with it. Just got to deal with it. Moving forward. Definitely won't be touching that. That would be mighty scary. Room just to the left we can touch. Go back for our secret room. And we are good. This went better than last time, definitely. We also want to do our last camp as well. Watch your step. Not ideal. Definitely don't want to touch that. And we got some spiders. Healing there. Mortality Not ideal. In a single strike. Especially for the stress. Oh, it stunned as well. I was having a feeling it would. Plus the spit. God damn it, this is bad. Good kill though. Hope to get some stress relief. Stun. Stop that in its tracks. Good. Stop biting her. Fuck you. Stop biting her. Okay, good. <laughs> All missed. Another one falls. Lovely. That's our mission complete at least. We do have two curios over here that we can go check. We apparently brought way more food than we could possibly need. Overestimated the food requirements. It's okay though, because it sells back for the same amount that we bought it for, so it's not a loss. Right, back this way. We do have a trap to the sand now as well. Um, go a little further away. Damn it! Cool. Mind that such missteps are the exception, and not the rule. Hopefully, we don't get too many more battles on the way back here. You know we will. Please, I thought someone was going to touch that then because it made us stop. I was like, please don't goddamn touch that. We are not ready. 
don't have enough for that. Shovel this up. We'll get rid of the shovels, the bandages. Well. Right, we'll camp in this room here. Huddled We're going together. for all stress relief here. And vulnerable. Rats in a maze. Good, and then... Prevent nighttime ambush as well. Three left. Oh, dude. Okay, no, I, I saved the three. Good. I almost forgot to do this. Ooh. Oh, that's amazing. Holy shit. I'm so glad I left enough respite for that. I almost forgot about that. 12 accuracy, awesome. 20% debuffed skill chance, okay. Ignores stealth is huge. Hugely valuable for us. Enough our torch Secrets out. Secrets and wonders can be found in the most tenebrous corners of this place. And here's our key. We did get a trinket as well, so we'll throw away the citrine. These. And there you go. So 20% damage, 6% crit, 8% off. That's fantastic. I love that. Right, okay. We'll be getting the hell out of here now. This was a bit of a risky mission, but I think we came off in a pretty good way and we got quite a lot of money, actually. And we got one level 4 on Eileen there. Actually, we got another level 4 here on Rose as well. Okay, good stuff. Good stuff indeed. Let's get to our final remaining diary. I think we've got two or three more left. Stressful. A Definitely stressful. Irritant. Right. Um, a sanguine memory to me. Quickly take a look at who needs healing. Tinnitus, I don't really care, so that's fine. Leprosy, uh, we definitely want to remove. And creeping cough as well. Okay, let's check what we got in here. Poste, avoid summoning in quest boss fights. Um, interesting. On monster kill, um, self-summon walking corpse. On attack hit, debuff target with minus accuracy. That's a pretty good trinket. Um, I'm going to buy that. It's expensive, but I think that could be pretty interesting. And actually, in the meantime, because we're going to be doing stuff with Nyx here. Uh, let's find Nyx and let's remove... Yeah, let's remove that because that's been a problem prior. Quite a lot of money to spend there, but I think it was worthwhile. We finally got a Falconeer. We've been waiting for this class for a while. This class is very useful for us because it has the antiquarian boon of finding extra stuff. So very nice to have that. Really happy. Let's get into our last few diaries and we'll end off the episode. Um, so we've got next one. We've got again by Penn Simmons. This is Nyx for the summoning page. I made a mistake. I overheard Artemis talking to the masked hunter about an eldritch test text they left behind in the wield. I decided to venture on my own at night and try to recover it. I figured with my term and the cover of night, I could make it. I was wrong. Miles of winding path twist in on each other, making tracking the group's journey impossible. The monsters seemed even more terrifying than when I last traveled with the group, like they had learned along with us. I could not fight them. I quickly realized that and um, this was a mad decision of greed and I was to pay for it. I figured if I could navigate around the beasts, I could go deep enough to find some Eldritch te texts and study them alone. The beasts were not allowing that. Corpses sprung from the earth, ripping at my ankles. Twisted beasts prowling the area. Unholy abominations howled into the night. I ran for the nearest light, hoping to get my bearings, but it was a skeletal army marching towards the sea. Lost my way. I was doomed. But a little blue will-o'-wisp uh, will darted from behind a skull dancing in front of me and rushed east. I followed it in a dead sprint until it vanished into the bush miles later. I kept moving in the direction that led me, um, led and broke through into the Hamlet property. I'm home, barely alive, and everyone is too distracted by a group venture gone south to notice me limp in. I need some friends. 
Really nice. And then we got another one here from Mean Police. This is from uh, Powder Keg. Opti Occupational Burnout. After our journey to the ruins... Uh, after journey to the ruins, Ol Oliver locked himself in his room and tried to calm himself down by smoking and drinking. But it didn't help too much. After the mental breakdown, he ran uh, to the abbey, to the penance hall. These gargoyles from the ruins mocked him, held curses at him. No matter how much the captain drank rum in that campaign, it did not help him remain sane. The captain's room was a mess, on the table, and not only, there was a pile of empty bottles of alcohol, a pipe laying on the floor next to the chair along with tobacco scattered on it, and there was a small notebook on the table. It's probably his diary. Moreover, judging by the ink spilled on the table, he was trying to write something down. The diary page starts with the date. Week 42. Today I was chosen as the leader of a group that will go on a long quest of the ruins. A quest to travel with several individuals. I was assigned to the company of a former pirate whose life was saved by an heir. A cultist who is obsessed with death and her. I didn't expect her to join the ranks of a mercenary so soon. Lady Vixen. The Duchess of Nothing. The sight of her alone scares everyone around. She wants to return to the courtyard to take revenge on another lady of noble blood. I hope the former pirate captain has a lot of rum and grog in store because we're in for a hell of a journey. He wrote this before he went to the ruins. Below adequately written text, page was smeared in ink, but if you try, you can read the words weakling, coward, and failure that are repeated. It will take him some time to come to his senses again, Oliver will take it as an act of his own unprofessionalism and will promise that it will not happen again. But with a job like this, it's just an empty promise, especially for an old man like Oliver. Really nice. And then we have one last one by Rocker and it's called the Surf Box. A small crowd gathers in the square as the father walks with a little one with supplies for the abbey. Lost in thought, the little one tugs his robe, arresting his attention and um, noting a particular voice. Oh, by the light, what is he up to now? Uriel stands atop an apple crate, addressing the small gathering of people. We are taught that the light guides us, so we shoulder that responsibility of purging evil, the monstrous and the heretic, even when the face of death we cannot yield. Uriel shudders with the reverence at his next word. Suffering is our prayer, their faith is our armour. His voice raises at the next. In battle, we are given the chance of redemption, and for those worthy, the light sends its angels. The father yanks Uriel from his post. What are you doing, Uriel? The congregation seemed distra uh, distressed about the last excursion. I was simply offering words to them. The same unhinged smile as he walks back to the chapel. Enticing them more like, Cleric mutters, as he sees the little one standing there. Basket of supplies in hand. Sorry, little one. Shall we? As they begin to head back to the chapel. Really good stuff, amazing writing, and a much, much better episode overall. We do, of course, have a Falconeer here. I think we have a backstory for it, but if we don't, I'll let you guys know. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one.